And now we are up to Yachatz in the Haggadah. So we've already done Kaddish Ochatz Kalpas Yachatz. Excellent. Now for Yachatz is when the father in the house holds up the middle matzah, or whoever is leading your seder, holds up the middle matzah. It's called a levy. And they are going to break it in half. So a shira here, you can use scissors. And you are going to cut that matzah in half. Because that's a piece of paper. So at home, you could get a piece of paper. And you could draw a picture of a matzah. Just draw a big circle. And then you will cut it in half. Perfect. Now hold up both pieces. Can you show everyone? Wow, those look pretty even there. <laughs> that would be difficult. So now you are going to choose which one is the bigger half. Which half is bigger? Can you tell? This one. Okay, that's the bigger half. So the bigger half is going to be saved for later on in the Seder. That slice is called the afikomen. The afikomen is the bigger half of this matzo right here, and you are going to eat that for dessert. That's your dessert. Yummy, delicious dessert. Afikomen matzo. That is the best dessert. Where does Shira go? Shira, where are you? Right now, Shira is holding a whole piece of matzo. You see, it's a big circle and it's whole. But when you break it in half, you have how many halves? One. Two. two. Two halves, but when you put two halves together, you get a whole, a whole piece of matzah. Great. Now, I'm going to ask for everyone to take a piece of paper and a marker. Okay, now you're going to take a piece of paper and draw a bunch of different circles in different sizes around the paper and make them look like a bunch of matzot. Right now, when you have all of your circles all drawn out, I want you to point to your paper and show me which matzah on your paper is the biggest matzah. This one. Great. And which matzah on your paper is the smallest matzah? This one. Oh my gosh, that is a teeny tiny matzah. And now, show me on your paper if you have two matzah that are the same size. Oh, those two look like the same size. Great. Yes, matzo come in all different shapes and sizes. Now you are going to take your scissors and you could cut out some of your matzo that you could glue onto your yachats page. Make sure that you have one of the matzo cut in half, like this one over here, and you are going to glue that on this page on this page right here. Great, Ashira drew a matzah and she cut it in half and she opens it up. Which half, you see it's a big whole matzah now, and now which half is bigger? Great, remember that's the one that you're gonna eat for dessert, okay? Now take your best friend glue stick and roll it up and glue your matzot on your yachatz paper. Now you're going to roll down your glue stick when you're done gluing it on and cap it back on. Save it. You'll, you'll need it for other projects. And now on the paper it says we break the blank. There's a blank right here in half and hide the bigger half. You are going to write the word matzah in Hebrew. I wrote out the letters over here. It goes this way. It, you write it out like this. Mem, Sadi, the letter that we just learned the other week, and hey, That spells matzah. Okay, great. Okay, now all three matzot during the Seder have a special name. So, a sheer point to the first one. The first one is 
Kohane. You want to pick up that matzah? Kohane. Great. The next one that we split in half for Yachat in the middle is called Levi. And the third one is Yisroel. Those are the three names of the matzot during the Seder.